I know this is gonna come as a shock. This has been a long time coming, this video, and I haven't had a chance to sit down and whack out one of these vlogs in, in a bloody long time, let's be frank here. I missed you all, and I have been dying to sit down in front of the camera again and record a video for you. I have some amazing, exciting news that I cannot wait to share with you. But first, let's recap on the last few months where I haven't been in YouTube land too much. I think maybe since I finished recording these vlogs, I might have done two uh, vlogs in the wild kind of thing, where I took the camera out and started talking at it. That was really fun. Uh, I went to Madrid, I filmed a couple of vlog episodes over there, and I wanted to film a lot more, but it turns out that being in Madrid with a whole bunch of amazing people is a little bit too exciting to stop and get my camera out. I totally was overzealous there in my predictions of filming every day. So in the end, I decided not to film at all and just enjoy my time with everyone there. I uploaded this video uh, some time ago, maybe maybe a few months ago, called uh, Is YouTube a VidMe Replacement? Or is VidMe taking over YouTube? Something like that. I don't even remember the title. Turns out that video is doing it pretty well and there are a lot of folks that are enjoying that video. This is compared to my other videos, mind you. Don't go thinking I've gone viral or insanely popular. I haven't, that is not the case at all yet. There are still a ton of people viewing and commenting on the video. So from that video alone, my little subscriber base has been growing steadily. I haven't touched a bloody thing on this channel and it still goes up. So I thought, well, hey, I better do something about that and jump on and film a new vlog episode. Now, I remember at the beginning of this video, I said to you, yeah, I have some exciting news and I do. Guess what? I know you're sitting there going, just tell me, you bloody idiot. Well, in just under, or just over, three weeks, I am going to Bali. Yeah, I am. So I am absolutely stoked that I will get to head over to Bali and work and holiday at the same time. This time I'm traveling on my own, uh, so I won't have uh, a million exciting, amazing people to hang around with and talk and share good times with and drink too much beer with. So instead, this time I'm gonna have a, yeah, a camera with me and I'm gonna be able to work and film some episodes while I'm over there. I say this now, I want you to keep me accountable, right? Pull me up. When I get to Bali, and I'll probably do another couple of vlog episodes between now and then, but when I actually get there, call me out. Say, hey Paul, where's this vlog episode that you were telling me you've got to record? Because I want to see some of Bali. Uh, I know you've seen like a ton of, like probably a ton of travel videos and stuff. I don't know, I'm kind of into them. And uh, if you have, then mine won't be anywhere near as good as that, unless you want to sponsor me with a drone, uh, and then we could probably work something out, but instead it's just going to be me talking into a camera. I'll do really funny things. I'll try and do really funny things. I don't know what I'll do yet, but regardless, it's going to be awesome. And that about wraps it up for this video. I just wanted to quickly touch base and let you know that I'm still alive and that I still like recording videos and sharing awesome stories. I'm going to Bali in a couple of weeks. Uh, my little subscriber base on YouTube is growing. I've blown the cobwebs, cobwebs off the camera. I can't even speak. I'm blowing the cobwebs off. I am blowing the cobwebs off the camera. There's no cobwebs on the camera. Like, you get it, it's a figure of speech. Maybe it's not, maybe it's one of those American-Australian conundrums. <gasps> Speaking of which, there are these phrases, right, that Australians say that Americans think are really weird. I said one today, and uh, one of the people I work with was like, whoa, like, that's really weird, you can't say that. The phrase was, and this is, I think it's a real phrase, so pull me up if it's not, but the phrase was, wow, you know, she really rubs me up the wrong way. I thought that's how you said it, but apparently I add some extra words in there, so it's, she really rubs me the wrong way. It's no up. It's just rubs me the wrong way. But in Australia, or what I thought, it's she really rubs me up the wrong way. I don't know. Let me know. If that phrase is absolutely off the point and is totally wrong, please tell me now, because I don't want to keep saying it and rubbing people up the wrong way any longer. Thanks for watching this video. Don't even worry about subscribing or commenting or doing any of that fun stuff. Just enjoy the video. I'll see you next time. Bye.